All right, I'm here with uh, Judge Robert Colville. Uh, Judge Colville ran for Superior Court two years ago, came within a whisker of getting one of the seats, ran a very fine statewide campaign. He's running again this year for the opening of Superior Court. Tell us some about your background and what you're doing, your experience. Thank you for the question. Let me begin by saying thank you for the comment. We, uh, we worked real hard two years ago and came very, very close. We're very proud of the support we garnered really across the board, all sectors, particularly Democratic support. Real proud of the support we had from labor. Uh, real proud of the support we had from the legal community. Uh, so looking back on it, it was a beautiful experience, really, uh, able to develop that network that I developed two years ago and hopefully be an even stronger candidate uh, this time around. Uh, so we're just trying to get out, make sure that people know who I am, know I'm in the race again, sharing my background, qualifications, and credentials, and in the end, the voters will decide. How was your experience two years ago running? It's just a very big state. People don't realize how big Pennsylvania is until you run statewide. It is. It's an enormous state. Now, I had the benefit of uh, some experience on a professional level. Of course, I've been a judge in Allegheny County for 12 years now, sat in a number of different divisions. But on top of that, um, when, you're, when you're considering a statewide run, you have to understand and accept that, as you point out, we're an enormous state, 67 counties. There are 67 ways to skin a cat. And in fact, the counties have discovered lots of solutions to practical problems, uh, real solutions for real people in the real world. I've had the benefit of experience as the president of the Pennsylvania Conference of State Trial Judges. I was an officer of that conference for seven years preceding my presidency. I've also served on a statewide rules committee, the Juvenile Court Procedural Rules Committee, drafting from whole cloth the rules that apply in every juvenile court case across the Commonwealth. It's that type of statewide experience that I think distinguishes me as a candidate, allows me to see that, you know, my experience as a judge sitting just in Allegheny County is important, but it's limited in a sense. I have a broader background and experience than many of the other candidates, and I think it's that type of experience that I'm hoping the voters recognize as important in a statewide appellate court judge. Tell us maybe some of your most memorable experiences from your campaign two years ago, interacting with voters and getting around to the state. What are the your, your best experiences well, and memories from Well, there's from too that. many to talk about okay. in this context, to be frank with you. But what I, what I get to, I guess, in the essence of it is this. As you point out, it's a big state, and there are so many different ways of, 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 of solving problems, and it's really a, a very rewarding experience as a, as a, as a candidate to, to go county to county and, and, and see firsthand how problems are being solved and to work hand in hand with people who are on, on the ground, boots on the ground, solving those problems, recognizing the needs of their community and stepping up and, and responsibly advancing good solutions. Um, th that's what our courts need to be doing. That's what our judges need to be aware of and, and thoughtful of. But, but again, the solutions that will work in Allegheny County are not the solutions that are going to work in our smaller counties. The solutions that are right and appropriate for uh, smaller counties are not appropriate for our larger counties. Uh, rural versus urban interests, lots of dichotomies out there mm -hmm. that exist and, and we're wise to recognize those differences. It, it, was, a, it was a real pleasure and a, and a rewarding and fulfilling experience to run two years ago. Um, I'm looking forward to another run. Well, tomorrow uh, the Democratic State Committee is going to vote on endorsement between you and another candidate. Why should they support you? Well, I, I hope that they'll be uh, guided by the type of criteria that um, are important to the people I live with, and that is, you know, what, what's my integrity? What's my reputation in the legal community? What's my background and experience? And, and I'd point out what, what is readily known about me, 12 years on the Court of Common Pleas bench, Worked as a lawyer for many years prior to that, worked as a law clerk for the Pennsylvania Supreme Court, worked in the Public Defender's Office of Allegheny County handling criminal matters, um, uh, worked as a legislative aide for Congressman uh, in Washington, D.C. On top of that, I, I talked about my experience as president of the Pennsylvania Conference of State Trial Judges, uh, my work as a toxic tort supervising judge in Allegheny County. I've been Recommend, excuse me, highly recommended by both the Pennsylvania Bar Association and the Allegheny County Bar Association, the uh, lawyers who know me the very best. So when you, you know, I'd like to be the one to tell you, hey, you can trust me and I work hard and I'm confident and capable, but you don't have to listen to me. You can listen to what the lawyers say about me. You can listen to what my colleagues across the Commonwealth have said, the 450-some judges who elected me to positions of trust and responsibility, as, as I mentioned, president of the Pennsylvania Conference of State Trial Judges and an officer for seven years prior. I hope it's those type of uh, you know, genuine background and, and, and experience questions um, 
the voters are asking themselves about the candidates. And I think if they ask those questions, they'll find me to be an appropriate candidate. All right. Well, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thanks. Judge.